Hello, Assalamu alaikum and good morning from Lahore. I'm Dr. Javed Iqbal Kokar, Professor of Forensic Medicine in Toxicology. As I'm discussing the thanatology and in this, we are discussing the foot infection. And in this lecture, I am discussing the factors which affect the rate of foot infection. And the learning objective will be that we'll discuss what are the factors. They are either the external factors or the internal factors. And the external factors, they are the uh, temperature of the environment, the flow of air, the degree of moisture, and the presence of clothes or absence of clothes on the body, and the manner of burial. Then the manner of burial can be also either the body is in water or it is in deep soil or the maggots and the flies, they are attracted and they can hasten the process of foot infection. Then internal factors, either the age factor, the condition of the body, the sex, the mode of death, and the Casper dictum, which is a, a dictum which uh, dictates a variation in the rate of foot infection in various uh, circumstances. So, and it states that uh, rate of foot infection Keeping the same uh, circumstances, it is one, it takes one week in air, two weeks in water, and eight in soil. Then the putrefaction in water, it depends upon the nature of the medium, temperature of the medium, movement of water, and the presence of other animals which can eat up the body. Then the, all the floating of body will take place, and it is because of the production of gases which causes its floating. Then I'll be discussing maceration and a spalding sign, which is diagnostic sign of the maceration. So the factors affecting the rate of foot infection, one can have an idea about the time since death from the stage of foot infection present in the body, but it is very variable and unreliable as the foot infection is affected by a lot of factors. And the process is accelerated by the presence of airborne bacteria and is retarded by uh, immersion in water or deep burial in soil. The maggots and flies also increase the rate of foot infection. So the rate of foot infection of a dead body when it is exposed to air, what are the factors which can affect? There is a great variation in time of onset and date of progression of foot infection, but as a general rule, when the onset is rapid, then the progression is also accelerated. And there are certain external factors and certain internal factors. The external factors are the temperature of the environment. In temperature like 70 to 80 degree Fahrenheit, it's the optimum and best temperature for the foot infection. Whereas freezing, there is a foot infection is slowed down or it is no foot infection in deep freezing. And in temperature, which is more than 200 degrees Fahrenheit, then the fluids get there dried up and there is arrest of foot infection and the body may be mummified and mummification will be taking place. Then about the air, in the presence of air, the foot infection process is hastened up and in the absence of air, it is retarded. Similarly, the presence of moisture, the presence of moisture, it uh, attracts bacteria, multiplication of bacteria will be taking place more effectively and the process of foot infection will be hastened. Similarly, the presence of clothes on the body. Initially, as the clothes maintain temperature, they help foot infection and later, they protect the flies from uh, who attack the body. So about the manner of burial, airtight coffin, the foot infection is delayed. And if the body is without coffin, the foot infection will be early. And in deep grave, the foot infection is delayed. Whereas in shallow grave, the foot infection will be early. And if the body is buried in lime, then the foot infection is again delayed. The body buried in waterlogged area, then foot infection is also early. 
and if the body is buried in sandy, dry area, mummification will occur, or the body if is in damp, damp and porous land, adipose formation can take place. So the Casper dictum. Casper dictum states that the rate of putrefaction of a dead body by keeping the temperature same in each case, it's almost equal for one week in air, two weeks in water, and eight weeks in the deep soil. So it takes one week in air, two weeks in water, and eight weeks in soil. This is Casper dictum. However, it is subject to great variation depending upon the other factors. Now about the internal factors within the body which affect the rate of putrefaction, age. The infants, they are as a, a still and stillborn, they are sterile and they putrefy late. Whereas children, they putrefy early than the adults. Whereas the old, being less fatty, they putrefy late. Now the condition of the body, if the body is fatty, the putrefaction will be early. If it is emaciated, the putrefaction will be late. And in mutilated body, the putrefaction will be early. About the sex, very little influence, but in fatty females, the putrefaction will be early. Female dying after childbirth, then the putrefaction will be early. And similarly, females dying after septicemia, the putrefaction will be early. Then the mode of death, if the mode of death is because of septicemia or infection, there are more bacteria and putrefaction is early. In anemic, less blood and late putrefaction will be seen. In wasting diseases, because of the atrophy of the muscle, the putrefaction will be late. A certain poison may delay the putrefaction like arsenic, antimony and zinc. Then in sudden deaths, as the body is in good health, the putrefaction is slowed down. Then the putrefaction of a body when it is immersed in water, it is relative much lower than in the body exposed to air. As the water holds gases in the lungs, it assumes a characteristic posture in the body. And once the body is out of water, the rate of putrefaction is much higher. And it has been seen that it is even 16 times higher than the rate of putrefaction in water. Then the, also the rate of putrefaction will depend upon the water, the nature of the water, that the temperature of the medium, the increase high temperature, they will be, uh, putrefaction will be hastened, whereas it, it, the putrefaction will be slowed down in cold water. And if there are bacterial contents, then the putrefaction will be rapid. And in the medium containing decomposing organic matter like sewage water, the rapid, it will be rapid. And in fresh water, then in salt water, in fresh water, it will be rapid. And in salt water, it will be slow. Then about the movement of the water or the medium, it will be rapid in stagnant water. Similarly, the presence of animals like fish and other animals which eat up the body, they can hasten up the process of putrefaction. Then the areas which are affected by the medium. For example, putrefaction in water, it will first take place in the face and neck, then thorax, shoulder, arms, abdomen, and in the arms later. Similarly, in the uh, in air, abdomen, chest, and face first, and then the arms, whereas in water, the, re the reverse is the order. So about the floating of the body, in summers, in 24 hours, the body can float because of the raised temperature and in winters, it can be slowed down up to two, three days. Then the position of the body, the abdomen above that is higher due to gases and spine and that is below being heavier. And no floating of the body if it is submerged, if it is merged underwater with weight tied to it, or it has been trapped within the weeds.
the maceration. It's a special condition. In this, there is intrauterine death of the fetus and the fetus undergoes aseptic autolysis. That is, the fetus is aseptic, there is no bacterial invasion and the autolysis will be causing the maceration. And on X-ray, there is a characteristic sign which is called a spalding sign, which means overriding of the overriding of the skull bones. So this maceration, which is aseptic autolysis on X-ray, it is seen as overriding of the skull bone called spalding sign. And these are the pictures of uh, radiographs are the and ultrasound showing this spalding sign. So summary of this lecture is that we have discussed in this lecture the factors affecting the put infection and they are affected by the manner of burial in body if it is in water and if it is in deep soil. Then the presence of other creatures, the maggots and flies which affect the rate of put infection. Then the factors either they are, they are external factors and there are internal factors. The external factors, the temperature of the environment, air, moisture, clothes and the manner of burial. And in internal factors within the body, that is the age, condition of the body, sex, mode of death, and Casper dictum, which is a variation, which is a special dictum, which states that the rate of put infection, keeping the condition same, is it takes one week in air, two weeks in water, and eight weeks in soil. And we have discussed the put infection in water, which will be dependent upon the nature of the medium, the temperature of the medium, movement of the air, water, presence of other animals, and the floating, when it will be floating because of the production of the gases and floating will be taking place. Then we discuss maceration and spalding sign. Thank you very much. This is all about the topic of put infection and we'll continue with anatology in the next in lecture inshallah. Take care, Allah Hafiz. Bye bye. Assalamu alaikum. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. And this is my channel name, Dr. Javed Iqbal Kokhar. Thank you very much.